Hello everyone, hello YouTube, welcome to another TaylorMade tutorial. Uh, I've actually got a request for a tutorial here from a YouTube user called Sorrent1995. Um, he sent me a personal message uh, very politely asking how do you broadcast live over radionomy using Sam Broadcaster? So for you Sorrent, um, I'm going to do that. Uh, first thing you want to do is head to the Radionomy site, www.radionomy.com slash en for English. Um, there's lots of different radios here, obviously you can listen to some very good radios on here. I've got a, my own radio on here. Um, but the first thing you want to do is click join us now. Do that and you should come to a page that's looking like this. Um, they've recently uh, uh, added this feature to sign up using your Facebook account so it's uh, very easy and fast as you can say, it's very convenient uh, or you can just use your email like I did, I did this before they introduced this feature um, so do that, accept the con terms and conditions, you need a genuine email because you need to validate your account um, accept the terms and conditions, create your account after you've done that, head back to their home page and you'll see this down the right, create your free radio and it says uh, radio and provides all needed tools to create an internet radio for your community um, so yeah it gives you everything you need to create your own internet radio for free um, with no hassle really um, it says for free but uh, the catch there is that if you don't get the listening hours that they require uh, I think it's 12 hours um, listening hours per day on average uh, after nine months um, in order to keep your radio and then they require oh, I can't remember now it's something like a hundred hours a day uh, nine months after that um, in order for them to keep paying the copyright costs if you don't get that after, it's going to be like 18 months later I think, but if you don't get that, uh, you can still keep your radio, but you have to pay the slight cost of all the copyright licensing. and So it's not actually that bad at all, it genuinely is free, uh, as long as you get the listening hours after a very long time, so they're, they're very fair. But you want to click learn more. Um, once you do that, it should come to a page looking like this. Um, Radionomy producers. You want to log in with your account you just made, create your radio. Um, it should be. Obviously, I've already got an account with a radio, so I can't show you the page to create a radio. Uh, they've recently just, as I said, they've done up all their site, added new features and things. So, creating a radio might be different from when I did it so but log in here with the, cre with the account you just created and uh, create your radio once you've done all that um, you should be able to log in here and it'll take you to once you've created your radio to a page looking like this so this is your radio um, obviously you can see mine here feel good radio it's just a light hide radio really um, the first thing you need to do to get your radio up and running is uh, you want to click radio manager uh, and you want to click last version of radio manager you're going to get a thing like this RM1041 EN uh, EN's for English so make, you, make sure you've got that uh, save the file onto your desktop, extract it, install all the radio managers. It's quite simple, quite a light, a light program really. So make sure you install all that. Um, it's a full radio manager user guide. So if if I don't make it very clear, you've uh, you've got this uh, PDF document to download. Shows you all the ins and outs. That was uh, it's a very useful PDF. So download that if you ever get into any trouble. But obviously, there's users users forum and the online help as well to help you along. So once you've installed all your radio manager, you should get uh, something looking like this. 
first thing you want to do open that up it's going to look something like this okay so you're on your way to creating your radio now this is how you do it I'm going to run you through all these different steps and what they mean this is uh, Radionomy News all their latest news um, not new version of Radionomy website so they've just done all that up lately first thing you want to do anyway is go to audio library this is where you add all your music into your radio that you're going to play uh, all the different things you can shuffle through um, like in the middle of the night when obviously you haven't got any men to actually run it um, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go advanced search let's click that here you can search the Radionomy's library for music so that you don't have to upload it Radionomy have um, made sure they have all the copyright licensing and everything for all this music um, if you choose to upload your own music you could be infringing copyright licenses uh, the data protect I mean the sorry the copyright patents act of, I think it was 1988 or whatever um, so you can do that at your own risk I advise um, making sure you use as much as the of the Radionomy's library as you can rather than uploading your own so you just want to make sure you check in Radionomy's library and search for something that you might want to add like for example you wanted to play Thriller on your radio add that to your list of songs you can search for it and there it is this is all in Radionomy's library um, Michael Jackson Thriller I need to do um, first thing you want to do well, you've got that you want to add it into my music but obviously you need what are called boxes um, to do that so you want to right click music and click new and it says new box so you can add this in so let's say you wanted a, a Michael Jackson box you can create that um, then search for your music that you want to go in there let's say you wanted this you can just drag it a drag and drop straight into Michael Jackson into that box and there it is in that box you've got Michael Jackson Thriller Megamix so it's that simple really once you've got all your boxes filled with all the different things you want I'm just going to delete this currently actually um, you go to clocks and playlists as you can read here once all musical ingredients are gathered into your library define the sequence of those ingredients in a typical radio hour a clock um, create as many clocks as needed modify your clocks to refine your radio style all the different things so basically this is what what where you tell the radio where to choose the music to play so if we just open up I'll show you what it looks like uh, you'll get a pie chart here um, basically all your boxes are here you drag and drop them into here into a certain order so with this for example what this does is it plays a jingle then it'll play three songs from the charts box then it'll play an old song then it'll play a jingle again and it runs through that and here you've got a, a rarer song so it pl plays a, a song from the rarer box um, and so on and so forth so it'll run through that whenever you've got this clock on that's all I've got time for now thanks to YouTube restrictions but click the annotation it'll take you to part 2 we'll carry on straight from where we've left off thanks for watching uh, see you in a sec